Hello, my inseparable friends. So today I want to um, remind you that our word this month is grateful and really think about what grateful means to you and, and um, how you can be grateful. So think about all those wonderful things that you're grateful for and um, those things that happen to be um, blessings in your life. And um, it could be your teachers, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be um, food, anything that you feel that you are grateful for. And I know I talked about this before, but I just wanted to kind of um, talk about that again with you. I know that I am very thankful for my boys. I have three boys. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my house and my home. Um, I'm thankful that I have a vehicle to be able to drive back and forth to work every day. I'm thankful that um, I have a job and it's a job that I absolutely love and am so passionate about. And I'm thankful for all of you and I'm thankful for all of the teachers and the staff in um, our school. So I am thankful and grateful for a lot of things. So remember to keep that in your mind during the season of Thanksgiving of the things that you're thankful for. We have two birthdays from the 17th to the 22nd of November. And those birthdays are Valerie Chavez and Carly Strickland are our two birthdays. So happy birthday and have a great birthday week and a great birthday. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about is our last, or our next, I should say, um, lesson on the Unstoppable Me book, which is Enjoy the Here and Now. Your past is now behind you. It has taught you many things. You also have your future and you wonder what it will bring. All these things to think about and cause your head to spin. So remember this key to happiness. Enjoy the moment that you're in. Take pleasure in the here and now. Don't always be on the run. The road you take to reach your goal should be part of the fun. So this is just explaining you to enjoy each moment and enjoy each day. I know sometimes I try to wish days away because I'm so excited for something that might be coming up and I need to not do that because I should just revel in the moment or um, seize the moment or just love the fact that I'm in the moment and um, cherish that so instead of trying to rush through the day or weeks or whatever that may be. Last week when I got a new kite I took it for out to fly but it was harder than it looked, and I got mad when it didn't go high. That's when my dad said, take a breath and slow it down a hair. It's not just the goal that brings you joy, it's the path to take you there. And when I stopped to look around, I saw that he was right. I saw my family having fun and the beautiful colors of my kite. So he's talking about getting all wrapped up about trying to get his kite to fly, that he misses out on the moments of his family and having fun and the beautiful colors of the kite because he's so upset about the fact that he can't get his kite to fly. So sometimes we have to just stop, smell the roses, and blow out the candles and just be in the moment and remember that each moment and each day and each second and each minute is part of the journey of where we are going as far as our goal and where we will be. So hopefully that makes sense. I try to explain these things so that you guys can understand them. Um, have an awesome week. Remember that Miss Bartman loves you and remember that you're beautiful. Peace in your hearts and have an awesome week. Stay unstoppable.